Hello and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition add-on, showcase, tutorial and playthrough video. Jeez, there's going to be a lot going on today, so I better get started. This pack is all about UHC, and if you don't know what UHC stands for, if we go to look at one of the many windows in this building, it stands for Ultra Hardcore. Basically, it is a Battle Royale version of Minecraft where you play with a group of friends, often in teams or individually, to basically go and grab as many resources as you can within an amount of time as the world border shrinks and then at the end of it's the last person standing. So it's basically a PvP game. And until recently, UHC was not really that possible to do in Bedrock Edition. A lot of people have tried, a lot of people have got pretty good add-ons on it, but I thought I'd throw my hat into the ring because us on Truly Bedrock were really keen on giving it a go. And this is what I've come up with. Now we'll get into how we add this to your world in a minute, but before we do, let's go through some of the features that this pack includes. It includes a world border, which you can set to start from 3,000 down to 1,000. You've got different settings. That is blocks away from 0, 0. This map is always going to work around 0, 0, and it will work on any world on any seed. You can just add the pack, start this, and it will build this structure we've got here on any world you've got. So you can play it anywhere. Anyway, yeah, so around 0, 0, the world border is a square and it will be, it will start at whichever one of these you pick. Can you see the little box on the right hand side of my screen? Currently says it's set to 1,500. If I change it to 2,000, you'll see that sidebar information will change when it flicks back from health to the sidebar info. Like that, it's now on 200. The final border is how much the border shrinks to after the amount of time the game lasts for and that can be changed as well from 1000 all the way down to 100 so when it's at 100 it really is quite a small little playing area so that's the world border we can change we've got instructions for all of these things here in the books provided so the next thing is game time which can last from three hours all the way down to 30 minutes now that's not the complete length of the game that's from how long it takes the world border to start at its maximum to go all the way down to the minimum once it gets to the end of the game time, once that counts down to zero, it will basically be a the last fight to the death. After five minutes of that, you'll go into sudden death. You'll all be pinged right back to the middle of the map, and then it's the last person standing. So as well as the game time settings, we've also got PvP time settings. And this is how long it takes until PvP is enabled. So basically, if you start your match, let's say you're starting on a one-hour match, you might want to spend the first 20 minutes without pvp on so no one can attack each other for a little while or you might want to set it on to zero so that pvp will be able enabled from the very beginning you've also then got these options here which is easy normal and hard that has just the standard minecraft difficulty and that'll change things like how strong mobs are how much damage effect you take from hunger and all that sort of stuff and then we've got natural regeneration on or off now, normally in ultra hardcore, natural regeneration is off. And what that means is when you get hurt, let's say you take some damage, you won't regenerate any health, even if you've got full hunger. So the only way you can regenerate your health is with golden apples or potions or suspicious stew. So yeah, having it with natural regeneration off is obviously the harder way to play, the way that UHCs are intended. But if you wanted a slightly easier experience, you can turn that on so you will heal when you're full. The other option we've got in here is this little box over here, which is ideally suited for content creators, people that are making videos on UHC. Basically, if you turn this on by using the green button, every 20 minutes throughout the game, you will get a reminder on screen that it has been 20 minutes so that you can pause the UHC, cut your video, and then start recording your next episode. So it's basically like an episode reminder. There are quite a few other features hidden under the surface of all this as well, but this is just the settings to get you started. And once you've got all of your settings in place, your other players, when they log in, will appear on top of this building, so they can't press your buttons and be fiddling with the settings. And when you're ready to go, if you press the start button, you will appear on the ground, and so will there. You'll be put into survival, and the timers will start. But before we get too carried away on how all of this works, let's look at how we install this pack onto our world. Now, at this point, I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded and installed the pack from foxynotel.com. If you're not sure how to do that, there are lots of tutorials on Google and YouTube to tell you how to do it for your specific device. Once you've got it installed, you then need to create a new world, and that new world can have any setup you want. We're going to call it UHC Video. 
And we're going to leave all of the settings as they are. All we're going to do is we're going to scroll down. We're going to activate cheats, which you're going to need to do anyway because it's an add-on. And we're going to activate Education Edition. The reason we need Education Edition is that when you die in-game, you then become a spectator. And if you don't have this ticked, you won't be able to fly around and see what's going on. You'll be stuck to the ground like the other players. These are the only two toggles you need on. The rest of it, you can completely ignore. You might want to put in whatever particular seed you prefer. If you want to leave it blank for a totally random world, that's up to you. You don't need to mess about with permissions or coordinates or any of that stuff. It will do all of that for you. Once you've got those ticked, scroll down to your behavior packs on the left hand side. Go to your packs and activate the UHC add-on and then click continue to turn off achievements. You will notice that should have gone into the active packs bit there. And if you click on the resource packs folder to the left, you should also see that the resource pack side of the add-on has gone into there as well. If that's not there, make sure that you select it from your my pack section and make sure it is in the active part of your resource packs. Then you obviously need to make sure you've got your multiplayer turned on if you're gonna be inviting friends to this. And be careful if you've got it set to friends and friends because you might get people you're not expecting to be turning up. If you put it on invite only, you can make sure that there's only the people that are part of the group are able to turn up. Once you've done that, you can click create and the world will be generated. A brand new fresh world just like this. And then all you need to do is type in a function. This is why we needed activate cheats. So I'm going to hit the slash key on my keyboard. Obviously, if you're using a controller, you'll need the pop up keyboard. So it's slash and then function. And then all we're going to do is install like that. I'm going to hit return and you will see I am going to now be inside the building on top of the world. And if I look down, that is pretty much exactly where I was stood. So that's it. Then you can play. That's all you need to do. Function and install. Now, if you do function and install and this builds itself up in the air, but you're falling back down to the ground. That can happen if you've got an older device or a, bit, a little bit of lag. Just run it again. It's not a problem. You can run function install as many times as you want without causing any issues. So let's say you've put all your settings in. You've started your UHC. But unfortunately, there's a problem. You need to restart. Just do function install again and you will be back in there and everything will be reset back to normal. Now, there are a few other functions and commands. You can find the details for that in the readme file inside the pack. I'm not going to go too much into it. Now, we're going to go into this flat world to have a look at how the world border works. So first of all, I'm going to run the function we just did a minute ago and install the pack like so. And that is going to generate a pack even in a flat world at the very top. And I need a player in here to help me because I need to start the UHC. And if I'm the only player, it's automatically going to end it because I've technically won because I'm the only alive player less. So we need a guinea pig. And the guinea pig I've chosen for this demonstration is none other than my alt account, Chuck Loader. And if I now press UHC start, we are both going to end up on the ground down here somewhere. Chuck should be around somewhere. Not entirely sure where he will have ended up. Let's TP to him. There we are. We're both on the ground and you can see above our heads, we've both got 20 health written on there. Now, PVP is technically off, so I can't hurt Chuck. But if I damage him, like so, you will see he loses health and above his head, it shows that he's lost health. The reason for that is it is a good indication when you're fighting people how well they're doing. And you can see because we've got natural regeneration on, he's actually regenerating his health there. Anyway, we're not interested in health. We are interested in the world border. So I'm going to disappear off in this direction and go and find it. So I have set the world border to 250 blocks. And if I walk in this direction, you'll see warning. You're close to the world border. If I get within 20 blocks of it, it's going to give me a warning. When I come away from that, it's going to tell me that I am safe. So if I go close again, I'm going to get a warning. And if I come back, it's going to say I'm safe. However, because this is Bedrock Edition, there is no visible world border. So when you get to the world border, it will tell you to turn around and say you're outside of the world border. Then it will give you a countdown to say that you're going to start taking damage. Once you let that go down to zero, you will start taking with the damage, which is not very nice. So you really need to get away from that world border into the safe zone so you're safe. Throughout the game, the world border will shrink five times until it gets to its smallest size. Now, each time it does that, it's going to shrink by quite a large number, particularly if you've set it to be a large world border to start with and a small world border to end with. The bigger the distance, the bigger it will jump each one of those five intervals, which means that you need a warning before the world border starts to shrink. 
Now, the world border does have a timer, and when it is one minute away from shrinking, you will get a warning on screen to tell you that it is going to shrink, and a minute later, it will shrink in size. Now, if it shrinks and you're outside of the world border, you're going to start taking damage after 10 seconds, unless you're a long way outside of the world border. So, if I'm outside the world border a bit, I am going to have a problem. However, if I go too far outside of the world border, i.e. it's come straight past me, what you'll see is I will then get teleported back to 0, zero or somewhere near zero, 0, at least, so that, you know, if you get caught out way too far beyond the world border, you're not going to take damage and you are going to be rescued. So that's everything about the world border sorted out, but what happens when you die? Hmm, we're going to need another player in here to test this out. Okay, so I'm now here with two people. Somehow or other, Chuck is no longer here, but we're not going to get into the issues I'm having trying to get my other players to join my land worlds, and we're just going to accept the fact that we've got two other people. Now, unfortunately, one of these three people is going to have to die in order to demonstrate spectator mode, and I guess that's going to have to be me, because I'm the only one recording. So, if I do kill at S, you will see that I die. And when I respawn in, I am now back on top of the, this building here. And in my hand, I have a player head. And if I hover over the rest of my inventory, I have invisible items that if I try and throw them out of my inventory, I can't because it says this item is locked and cannot be dropped. So the idea here is that I'm now in a spectator mode. I'm in a creative slash adventure mode. So I'm in adventure mode, but I have the ability to fly. And if I use this head, if I click on this head, then I actually will teleport to random players in the game so I can then go and observe what's going on. And then I can fly around, but I can't give these guys anything and I can't hurt anything either. I've got weakness, so I can't hurt anything. I've got feather falling, so I don't make any noise when I land on the floor. I'm invisible, so no one can see me, although they can see the head that I'm carrying with me. And I've got resistance and fire resistance in case I happen to teleport into lava or anything like that. So for all intents and purposes, I am now in spectator mode and able to go around and observe the rest of the match before it goes on. And as you may just have noticed at the top of the screen there, I have left a little bit of a testing error in my pack that will be removed for the pack that is on the website. So there we go. That's pretty much all there is to it. And if you want to get hold of this, it is free. It is available from foxinhotel.com. You can go and download it right now and enjoy playing with this. And I have a future version planned as well, which will allow us to automatically pick and juggle teams as well. So you'll be able to have team games. But right now, that's not available. But in order to show this off in its best form, I now have the Truly Bedrock players and me doing a test on the original version of this pack I made. Now, before we get into it, I will just say that that video was recorded on an earlier version of this pack, which was not fully tested. That was the first play test. A lot of changes have been made since then, such as the world border. During that video, the world border was a radius and it was also circular. Now it is the full length and it is a square. So that's a lot less confusing. Also, previously, the world border used to give you blindness when you went outside of it. That's been removed because because that was a bit of a problem as well and there were no other warning systems in place so basically all of the problems that may or may not be seen in the upcoming part of this video have been fixed this pack is 100 fixed and ready to go for you to play with so without further ado let's get into it hey yo and welcome to the first ever truly bedrock uhc that's right foxy has managed to put together a pack here for us uh for us to do pvp with all of the fancy world borders and everything i'll let him explain that in a second but uh we got seven tv members and uh dan has rejoined Hello. us for the event oh, and oh, um, oh, we're gonna split into th four teams of two and test this pack out so that all of you can see how it works before you go download it just bear in mind, right, this is literally the first playtest, so the chances are yes. we'll find lots of many, many problems. But I'll fix it before the download goes out, so don't worry about it. So, basically, we've got options. Uh, we've set it to, as you can see in the little uh, the sidebar thing on the right-hand side when it changes back from health to uh, the info, we've got it on 45-minute game length with after 20 minutes, PvP is going to be enabled and we are doing it on normal difficulty with regeneration off natural regeneration and we got a world border of 1500 to start with which is a radius so it's 750 in each direction from zero in a circle not a square 
and it will shrink over time all the way down to 250 blocks from the center, which is 125 blocks in a circle in any direction. And we'll all get pinged back to the middle at the end uh, if we haven't bothered to make our way back there. If you go outside the border, you'll go blind and it'll tell you to turn around. If you stand outside the border for too long, you will take damage. If you go too far out the border, you will be teleported back to the center. You will be effectively lost. Well, who wants to hit the button and get us started then? Should we separate in? Oh my god. Okay. Well, apparently not. <laughs> <Well, laughs> it all worked well, but none of us ended up down there. Huh. Hmm. Spread play. Okay, bug number one. Uh, Do we have to fall in the water? <laughs> this is a really small border. We have to start fighting right now, right? Um, <laughs> uh, it shouldn't let us stop uh, 20 minutes, Mark. Geronimo! <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> teammate. Oh, you can hit that. You're on your own right. now. No, it has okay. uh, it, so, it fall damage. There we go. There's an error already. Could not spread players around zero zero. There's too many players for the space. <laughs> ah. Great. Right. Are you alive, Simon? Yeah, I dropped in the water. Yeah, it's okay, no, right. no fall damage at the minute, so just uh, can I, do what he did. just go with him? Although I think I'm still yeah. in adventure mode. Just go and run. As you can see, at this point, things are already going well. The world border has been updated and changed, spread players has been fixed, and we now get set correctly into survival mode on the pack you'll download. So bear in mind, this was untested at this point. These problems have been fixed for the download. Hello. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, do you have any kind of plan? I have no idea. Uh, I, I guess, right, what you do is try and get tools and equipment and armor and then kill each other. Is that, that pretty much it? I, I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. Um, oh, watch out, Liara's near us. You know, you know, she's like. Well, there's no P, no PVP for twenty minutes, so you know, at least we're all right. Oh, so on we, that one. we'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. That's yeah, good. so we don't That's need good. to worry about escaping just yet. See, I think tactically it makes sense to stick around the world border anyway. Oh, not the world border, sorry, around the centre. Because if you go to the outside, you're just going to be moving back every few minutes as the border shrinks. So if you base yourself close by, as long as you've got a good defensible position, you should be able to, you know, gather... Oh, do you give me an axe and I'm there hitting it with my fist still? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, but, you know, you were talking. I thought, I'll, I'll leave him to it. He'll notice in a minute. Fine. <laughs> So yeah, I think I think we bolster up somewhere close by, uh, somewhere easily defendable, and um, yeah, work from that. What do you think, or would you rather go further afield? No, I mean that sounds absolutely perfect to me. Um, I mean, grab some wood. Grab, uh, luckily, I've been speed running lately. Well, by that yeah. I mean slightly faster walking. <laughs> so I have an idea of what sort of stuff we need, and I reckon if we go for a quick jog and try and find a village. That yeah, oh, that's a good call. idea. Yeah, yeah. You and Groover um, have both been on the speed run recently, so I thought that you know, a disadvantage for me here. I think absolutely not fair. Yeah, no. We're, 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 well, it's, we're on the same team. It'll be fine. And <laughs> if you die, honest, well, that's that's You've already also taken one damage. Um, yeah, I forgot that you can't literally take any, can you? Is, no. it, is the only way to get health like golden apples? You said golden apples, potions, and suspicious stew. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't see any village or anything like that. We could go out on the ocean quickly and have a quick, yeah, we could, quick look about. Do you want to make a boat? Or... Yeah, I've got a crafting table. This will probably be a small lake, no doubt. No, 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 no. You've just fallen down. Oh, I thought you took damage again. Then. It's all right. No, I won't. I'll... You saw nothing. <laughs> don't forget, we can it's share fine. a boat. We can save wood. Yep. Let's go. You, are you driving? Okay, good. Excellent. That means Yeah, I, I'm I, sure that'd be fine. Could just have a look around then. I don't see much of a village going on, so maybe we should change tactics and just go for a dig. Yeah, okay. If we pull up here, look, we can have a look at the yeah. desert, because if we can see a village in Ooh, the desert... Oh, a desert. Yeah, absolutely. Or it might, it might even just... Oh. <laughs> Is someone else here? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just a beach. Wow. <laughs> Good job. It's not, it's not even a beach. It's just like a little... Amazing. I don't even know what that is. Best desert I've seen yeah. all day. Right, we've got... Right. Oh, no! The... Oh, don't do that. We've got shit. Yeah, there's some exposed here. stone here. I cool, you, you grab that. I've got some exposed stone, so I'm gonna grab some stone tools. Don't jump off and... things, he says, mid-air. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we need to think about food. Do you want to find something to kill, maybe? Yeah, I was just thinking about that. I've got a feeling we're going to be struggling for mobs with this. There's obviously quite a few of us on, so... Uh... I'm not seeing any signs of life anywhere, to be honest with you. Oh, there's a fox. Can't eat a fox, though. 
sadly. No, no, I don't think that's um, that's a thing. There was loads of fish. We can't eat the clownfish. Ah, it's cod here. Grab us some cod. Yeah, yeah, cod, cod will do. Oh, there's drowns down there. Oh, there's loads of drowns. One of them's got a trident. Running away. Run, run, run. Away. run. I can't, why am I not going upwards? I'm not, I can't swim up. What? Oh, there we go. Oh, it wouldn't let <laughs> holding space oh. and foot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that. We don't need that. <laughs> oh, no. Right, I'm not going back in there. Fish is off the menu, I'm afraid. It's fox or nothing. <laughs> okay, well, fox it is. Um... <laughs> Mm. I'm not sure. There's no work animals. <laughs> Why? We've, we've come to the wrong place for animals, I think. Ah, a pig in a tree. That'll do. Tree pig. Food. I've got three pork chops. That is more than zero. Um, yes. I've got some coal, uh, some charcoal being cooked up in the furnace. Okay. World border's going to reduce in one minute. What's it reducing to, Foxy? I don't know. Whatever maths is. The, the, oh, the dogs. We don't want my dogs. We want. Oh, geez. Another pig here. I'm, I'm now going so slow. I can't move. I'm like um, ultra slow. Okay, okay. Maybe come back and cook the food and yeah, eat okay. the food. Oh, Dan's taking some damage. The world board is reduced. Oh, now, oh, it's going 250 at a time. Okay. So okay. That's cool. I, I can math that. 50. I was thinking get a bucket, so when we're being chased, chuck a bucket Ooh. on the floor and it'll push them away, because no one's going to have depth strider, yeah. are they? people are scared of buckets. Oh, no. Oh, you don't oh, <laughs> water in the bucket. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, or, or even better, lava. Oh. I'm good at finding lava. I have a knack for it. <laughs> just dig <laughs> just, me just a hole. Just dig straight down. <laughs> dig dig yeah. me a hole. I will find lava. You'll be on your own after that, though, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, let's go to a taiga. That's a good idea. There's a cow. All right, mate. We, 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 we were looking for a village and it didn't pan out. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I've got some, I found some sweet berries. I know they don't do I mean, that. Ah, oh, I've just took damage like on a sweet food. berry. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's ah, happening? Oh, the Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our silent whisper's nearly dead, though. What's happened to him? Oh, gee. oh the skeletons. The skeletons are running away. Yeah, just run away. Block yourself in the cave. Yeah. We'll hide in here for the night. Oh. I feel like UHCs are, are probably done by people slightly more skillful at Minecraft than myself. Oh, 100%. I think they know what they're doing. Um, <laughs> which is why as soon as we see anyone, we're probably just going to panic and die. Um, <laughs> just, so... like, just like lay down. You kill me then, Hobbs. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You, you can win. I imagine what will probably happen is we'll, we'll both panic, we'll run, we'll lose each other, <laughs> and then we'll independently either get blown up by a creeper or take full damage oh, and creepers. Die. Yeah. Yeah, Fine. all the bad things are out to get us. Just head back the way we came, basically. I think it's probably our best bet. Yeah, there's Keep planes there as else. well, so we might actually be able to find some food. The further in we go by boat, though, the less we'll have to run. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, brains. Jeez. I know, right? Look at me go. Are you some sort of doctor? <laughs> no, I'm just often starving and dying in this game. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> well, we're pretty much back at spawn now, so maybe we should, like, choose this as our, you know. Oh, look, there's a cave here. Perfect. Oh, okay, and there's iron in the cave. Look at that timing. Look, world border. Uh, have you got some blocks handy? Yeah, blocks. <laughs> Many, many blocks. You should have loads of blocks. Right, have you got uh, iron? Yes. Iron. Do you want to chuck me, chuck me the iron? I'll see what we can make out of it. Yep, there's nine of it there. I'll put the furnace oh. down here and the crafting table um, next to it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put a load more of that in there. Here you go. Have a beef. Okay, did you want Did you want a bucket of water? Are you going to use it or did you just want armor? Uh, I'll just go for armor. I think I'll be much more safe just having armor. Okay, I'm so... not smart enough to think, oh, I've got a bucket of water here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, the rest of the iron was in there, wasn't it? Well, borders oh, reduced. So th are there any tactics in terms of, you know, once it gets to fight time, what we do to, um, you know, defend ourselves? Get a shield. Get a shield. Oh, a shield. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good idea. I've literally just made myself one. Uh, what we should then do is get inside the 125 mark and maybe build ourselves somewhere we can defend. Ooh, a fort. Build a castle. Yes. That's what people do in yes. Yossi's building. <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely. That's what we'll do. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll get a nice mix of resources so we can make it look nice. Yeah. Right. I'll tell you what. While you're doing that then, while you're considering what, what shape the castle we should have is, I'm going to uh, yep. build a build. I'm going to make a couple of pickaxes um, and I'm going to go and see if I can find us a little bit of lava. 
Oh, PvP, PvP is started. on. Oh, oh, I found, you, I'm, in a, I'm in an abandoned mine shaft. Ah, oh, amazing. Loot it. Be yeah, careful. there's a creeper and a spider, though. Ooh. Oh, no, the creeper's just... Oh, jeez. Is there any poisonous spiders? I may have just Do not took near a little bit of creeper damage there. So right, there's, only there's half a, a half. Okay, spiders. Oh, jeez. Yeah, a lot of them from... and zombies. Oh, jeez. I'm right near, near cave spider spawners. Oh, I just got some leather armor from that zombie, though. For that. I've got loads of string. I can make some bows. No arrows. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm murdering a spider as well. Oh. There's a zombie yeah, here with a gold nice. helmet. I could end up with a prize here. I've got a gold helmet. Nice. No, of course not. I'm, I'm literally helmet. getting as much food as possible. I'm murdering like all the animals. Yeah. Oh. Just don't take any oh. unnecessary I risks. I found a, the, the spot, a zombie spawner. There's a chest. A name tag, wheat, gunpowder. Oh. I was hoping there might be a golden apple in there. Unfortunately not. Let's, uh, oh, it's a spider spawner. There's only one chest though. That's unfortunate. Got some horse armor. <laughs> Is that any use to anyone? Yeah. Um, no, probably not. Rotten what flesh? we really could have done... <laughs> Gotta have that rotten flesh. <laughs> what we really could have done with was a desert temple, because then we could have yeah. made the base of our <gasps> wonderful fortress. Oh, I found TNT. lava. Uh, oh, and there's a, there's load, there's a like uh, thingy spider spawner as well here. Oh, jeez. I, I think maybe I should... Oh, Sounds I, scary. Yeah, I should probably get out of here. This is going to end badly before we started, isn't it? I'm coming back with loads ah! of food. Oh, I've just... got shot by a skeleton. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Run away. Oh, no, the mini baby zombie. Oh, I wish I've gone the wrong way as well. I need to go the other way to get home. Oh, this is terrible, Mr. Beardstone. Oh, I've been shot I'm... again. Oh, All I can hear is screaming. I, I would I... come help you, but I'm too scared. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> just, ah, let me die on my own. Oh, jeez. That was quick reflexes for me. A, a cave spider literally jumped out at me and I, I got it before it got me. Oh, skills. Well played, sir. Skills. Well played. I'm in, I'm in it to win it, Mr. Beardstone. Look at you coming back with your leather armor. Dun, 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 with my leather armor. I think I yeah, should die. Yeah, looking it. good. Right, we got a chest to put all of this junk in that I've collected. Uh, right, I, can no. make, I can make a bread. I've got some gunpowder here. If we get some sand, we can make some TNT. I've only got 12 Wait. health, oh, I have oh. no idea. I was that low, jeez. <laughs> you only lost two in the uh, in the mine, though, to be fair. Which, considering the amount of screaming, is quite good. <laughs> uh, there's, th <laughs> there's three more pieces of flint, but I don't know if we've got any more feathers. No, we're running out of feathers now, but here you go. Look, there's another eight arrows here for you. Oh, you amazing. Go. I'm going to go see if it's still light outside. If it's still light, I'm going to go to the beach, grab some sand. Okay, good idea. Silence dead! Oh, silence gone! Oh, okay, so he went to the nether? Or he was outside the world border. World border, probably. Oh, uh, yeah, the world border did just change. Yeah. There's a baby, baby zombie. Baby zombie! There. Ah! Sorry, oh, I think I just I think, sliced you. Uh, I, th I think you did. I think you just ran Three through me as I was he's swinging you, my sword. You've you got another zombie behind you as well. Run. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah! Oh, I'm not going to make it, am I? <laughs> I'm just not going to make it. I got you! <laughs> I got your back, bro. Thanks. Even though I just stabbed you, you're very kind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a yeah. bit cruel of you, but right. Yeah. Where are we building this fort? Uh, here. We're on top of a hill. Okay. That's all right. We'll build. We'll build walls and barriers and all sorts. Walls <laughs> and barriers. Trap. Uh, what's it called? Drawbridge. <laughs> yep. And what we'll do is we'll we'll make a bit that looks appealing for them to come up and we'll have a hole at the top and that's the hole where I'll put the TNT and light oh, it. Yeah, there, ladders. Uh... I've got a load of sticks. So yeah, have a bit here too wide hole. Room. Even just one hole I can put I can put a... Okay. Oh, oh you thinking like that and then ladder all the way down. Yeah. So they can come up but we can drop TNT on them. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Well we should put a block about three or four <clears throat> blocks off the ground that's gonna be exactly where the uh TNT can land. Because we wanna kill them, right? Oh yeah, okay. So it'd be nice if we had a block about that, about there. A few blocks up from the ground, basically. Because otherwise they're going to climb away from it. Yeah, perfect. Fine. Do you have any wood? Because we can make yes. a flag. <laughs> we can make a flag. <laughs> well, if we're going to have a yes. fort, we're going to have a flag. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, why not? I've also got See, a bucket you... of lava we, which we can pour down there. Look, there we go. We can do that. Oh, amazing. Yeah. 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 I like it. All right. All we got to do is be vigilant, Mister Mister Beardstone. Vigilance is the is the key. Well, world borders down to five hundred. Wonder if anyone's going to burn alive this time. 
Who's <laughs> gonna wither away this time? Uh, we <gasps> died. Uh, Did you Dan, die? Dan just withered away, playing too close to the world border. <laughs> That sounds way too close to. Oh, there's there's uh, there's one of the spectator players here, look, holding the head. Oh. <laughs> but I don't think it's them taking damage, is it? Six minutes left, so eleven minutes till sudden death. I'm, okay. I'm feeling confident. So, so I... what happens next? It's going to shrink again, right? And yeah. we're we're in safe place, just. Yeah. Groover's the only yeah. one on full health at the minute, so he's the one to look out for. Oh, well, it's okay. Missed... He'll end up doing something stupid, like putting lava in his own face or something. I've, yeah. I've, I've watched his speed runs. It's fine. <laughs> wow. Nice. In two minutes' time, when it gets to sudden death, we're actually we're not going to be in our fancy tower anymore. We're going to get spread player to the middle of the map potentially if it well, actually works this time. Yeah, I was uh, going to say. Well, last time a spread player happened, we didn't get spread very fast. So I'm going <laughs> to keep hold of the TNT. Yeah. I'm just just, just saying. in case. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, we didn't get spread played. Uh. <laughs> let's go. Come on, let's go. What yeah. could possibly go wrong? Exactly. We're we're big and brave, and there's so many mobs down there. Yeah, we've we've made this <laughs> bad for ourselves. <laughs> Oof. Playing Foxy. Wow. It's all right. The important thing is we're. Oh, oh! There's a skelly. Don't stand still. Ah! Run, Foxy, run. I don't know where he was. I, no, I don't I think scared. he was. I think it was the spectator players landing next to us again. No, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I got hit with an arrow there. Did you? Oh, there's oh, someone yeah, over you there. Have lost, there's there's lost. a Zloy. Zloy's ahead of us. Where? Oh, my God. yeah. Liara's in full diamond. Is she really? I knew it. Oh, no. Or is that Groover? He, he oh, sure it's just, not his Sonic suit. <laughs> He's They're like coming out. for me. They're... They're coming. I, I, I'll protect you from, from over here, hiding behind this tree. Groover threw his sword. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, oh, oh he's got me. Floyd's got a diamond sword. That's cheating. Yeah, he literally, li Act. literally, like, pre he pretty much one hit me. Oh, Groover has got diamond as well. Yeah, they've got many diamonds. Uh, ah. uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> this is I'm hitting a spectator fellow. That's very annoying. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm, I'm watching from above now. You've, you've got it, Foxy. Right. Um, they're both coming for you. Many, so keep many running. Fire. Many, many fire. The rain's going to put my fire out, though. Ah, jeez. Oh, what have I got? Oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I put up such a good fight. You did. You put up a much better fight than I did. I basically ran up to him, planted some TNT. We all watched it explode as Lloyd killed me. It was um, it was pretty poor, to be honest. Hmm. So we should have probably got diamonds, you know. I think that would have been helpful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe we should have done that instead of building ourselves a nice fort. Someone's built yeah. a hut. So we built a fort. Someone's built a house. Yeah, this is where Groover and Zloy were. <laughs> it's got a little sign that says, go away. Yeah. Amazing. So where's Liara and BJW? That's the question. Oh, I found them. They're, they're coming from... They've just come past our old place. Oh. They've got... They've got potions. They've got enchanted iron gear. How have they done enchantments? What? They must have found... They must have found a village... Oh, Liara's oh. oh dear, oh, she's oh, got an oh. army of zombies against her. This is not good for Liara. BJW is about to take some serious damage. How are they not taking any da oh, damage? I it's guess Liara. Liara, Liara doesn't take damage. <laughs> she doesn't take <Yeah>. damage. <laughs> Groover and BJW are at it. Oh, Groover's down. BJW. Oh, BJ, with... go for it. So that is it. Liara versus Lloyd. Liara's done it. Liara's done hey. it. So it's... Uh, them, just them two need to kill each other then. <laughs> BJ, BJ was like, yep, I'm in. Yeah. Who's going to win? Who's going to be the ultimate? Hey, BJW. Oh, BJ. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So there we go, BJW, crown champion. 
So there we go, Team Liara and BJW were the champions of the first Bedrock Edition UHE played by the Truly Bedrock players on the first map that I've created. I hope you really enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed playing it. If you did, please do leave a like. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you all very soon.